former Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, also the former Attorney General and former Alabama foot or Auburn Alabama football coach Tommy Tuberville, that you see on your screen right. But Sessions' prospects are not looking very good. According to a new signal survey of likely Republican voters, Tuberville has a double-digit lead over Sessions, 52 to 40 percent. And to make things worse, President Trump endorsing Tuberville in a major way over his former attorney general. Here's a tweet from last night. He will be a great senator for the people of Alabama. Coach Tommy Tuberville, a winner, has my complete and total endorsement. I love Alabama! Exclamation point. With that, let's welcome in two of our marketing experts from Allison May Public Relations, also host of American Agenda right here on Newsmax TV. And also joining us, branding and marketing expert, Dr. John Tantillo. John Allison, great to see you both again. Welcome. Thanks. All right, so today's problem when it comes to branding is when somebody like the president is bashing you over the head. Allison, <laughs> how would you advise Jeff Sessions, who by all accounts had a you know, decent record in the Senate, a little problem when he was the attorney general with that whole recusal from the Russia probe, but he's still going to run this campaign. How do you advise, how, how does Jeff Sessions get out from yeah. under this? <laughs> you, you don't want to make President Trump mad. You don't want to be on his bad side. But, you know, Jeff Sessions has been speaking positively about the president. And that's what I would advise him to do. He said, look, you know, when I get elected, we're going to continue doing what President Trump has wanted to do and has been doing. So the thing is, you don't ever want to talk negatively about someone, even though President Trump did that to him. So my advice would be you keep going, keep talking about what you're going to do. Uh, you, you address things head on and you just keep doing those media appearances and just stay positive and focus on what you plan on doing. The other thing, John, that's challenging for Jeff Sessions is the fact that Tommy Tuberville is a very popular football coach, and football might be the most popular thing in Alabama. And I like to say that football trumps politics any day, and that's the problem with uh, the brand Sessions. I mean, he's a uh, uh, typical uh, politician, while Tuberville is so very, very unique. And there's much more in the tradition of Trump than he is in the tradition of Sessions. Um, so uh, there's a saying in politics is it's not what have you done for me, it's what have you done for me lately? And uh, Sessions should really remember that and, and uh, uh, play accordingly. Yeah, that's. I think that applies to politics and basically anything else. You know, Allison. You know, yes. John mentions a good point too because Jeff Sessions, even though he's very conservative, is kind of the embodiment of the swamp. A lot of, in a lot of people's opinion, where you have Tommy Tuberville, a real outsider. You know, again, that's that's a negative for Jeff Sessions, is it not? No, it is. And, you know, Tuberville being, you know, a coach and, as John mentioned, uh, football being big down in Alabama, he has something um, that Sessions doesn't, and that's that he's kind of not been in politics. And, again, that's, you know, President Trump got elected being the businessman and not a typical politician. So he does have that going for him. Uh, as for Sessions, you know, he just try. He, I would advise him to try and relate to folks to try and be a little bit more relatable and talk about, you know, what he plans on doing and, and how can he differentiate himself from being in the swamp. Yeah, he had a great approval record in the state of Alabama right up until the point when he recused himself from the Mueller probe. All downhill from there. Allison, John, great to see you guys again. Yeah. Look forward to next week. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back after this.